When I was coming to New York, I don't know, that was all in the 1970s. I cannot remember exactly. <clears throat> I don't know anything about the New York, so I've been, I went to working on uh, 30th Street and 7th Avenue, fashion Avenue. Mm -hmm. I was involved with that fashion business. I was living to uh, Emerald, Queens. The seven train worked over there. About six a month. A quick attack. When I get to uh, Manhattan, I get out from the subway. Soon as I inside the ground, some hot and dirty air I smell and I, I, I mean I feel like my heart, my lungs was like a stop. I better not to do this. Maybe I go back to Virginia. Virginia is much better than here. <laughs> Clean airs. And if I want to stay in New York, I better not go underneath the train. That's why ever since at that time, I never walked underneath the train. So I don't know that much of subway. <clears throat> Last time we went to uh, 14th Street with your Sabonim and Delta together, the subway, I tried to stop my boot down there. <laughs> it's bad. So that weekend, I went to the mountain. Ocean have lots of fresh air too, but in the mountain, all kind of uh, good and fresh oxygen up there. So our body needs what? We have an oxygen. So how much uh, fresh oxygen we can get at the sea? <clears throat> the she was asking me, how about a park? Park is better than the street. But New York City Park, how far away from the street? They used to have all kind of a bad air over there too. So why we need a good option? Just like this. You're eating food, but you take some vitamins too, right? Why you take vitamins? Because you're missing some vitamins, so you want to fill it up. That part of the vitamin you're missing, so you take some vitamins too. But you never think about you need to refill to your body fresh oxygen from natural oxygen from the mountain. The mountain has so many different kinds of trees and plants, and all those plants and uh, trees are naturally different smells and different kind of oxygen they give to you. So, human being from your parents, uh, we came from naturally, which is like we have to live with a very important sun, air, and the water. You learn these things like you're a very little kid, but you never think about that and, and keep on try to that. We need the sun. We need the what? Air. We need the what? Good water. I have, this is like uh, all these pages about the world. I have not enough time to teach you all detail about the world. I'm sorry to that. If we do like that two nights and three days, I'll try to teach you as much as I can. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about the world. Normally, our techniques, like uh, you say, is a lot. <clears throat> I would say that like, um, my techniques, Korean doctor techniques, we do have like uh, 33 different kind of water. Same water, but 33 different ways we're going to take this water from naturally. And every each water we can use different way. For the cook, for the drip, for the making medicine, for the cure your problems and sickness. 33 different kind of waters. One good example, I'm going to teach you one thing here. Number one, probably a lot in the city have any more of this kind of water, but I just let you know. They used to have like a well, and we take that water out from the well and we drink, right? We talk about that like that well. But you say what? Uh, country or mountain, they still have the, the natural wear. 
I used to have a well in the city too, like you know, like I used to have a, a landscape a business company over there. I'm making a big well over there and from the downstairs. You get the permit, you make it that, and you take it out. You can use that trees and plants and that. <coughs> I drink that water too. First things in the morning, early, like at 3 or 4 o'clock, you take that water from the well. That water have no poison at all. So this water you drink, whatever you have inside of your body, you have that poison, whatever left over some uh, stuff or something bad things in your organ, that water clean the systems out. That's the best medicine. Better than your chemical medicine you sip, like uh, alka sauce or, or after bismo, better than that kind of medicine. You drink that water, it, Clean all your organ systems. And people, whatever have, whatever reason they have sick, very, very seriously sick, like we call it that, blood, the body took out the blood with the nine pole. Human beings have nine horns, right? Who eyes and who knows and mouths and ears and down there. Sometimes people have very sick and they took out the blood out of all these nine horns. Drink that water, that stop. Did you ever say have a better medicine than that kind of medicine? If a people who sit over here nine holes are brought out and they take them to the uh, emergency room in the hospital and they still don't know what to do and people still get sick. At the time, give them that water, one glass of the water to stop from that much of water is good for your fine. That's the first thing all in the morning. So night time, so during the daytime, the water like a movement. Say so like a frog and something, bacteria in, inside of there. The frog, very little frogs, live inside of the water. What do people say? Oh yeah, they have a frog. I'm not going to drink the water. You don't understand. If that water is dirty or poison water, the frog cannot be live inside of the water. The frog have to be living in the clean, 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 clean water. You know, I like the uh, New York City one thing. Long time ago, I used to have like a fruit and vegetable business in back in 30. Second Avenue and, and, and 74th Street. I used to live over there too, 74th Street. One thing I like in New York. Because when I was having that business, they have like a lot of uh, lots of uh, fruits in the store and vegetables in the store. The bees fly clean, the bee. So I was thinking like, oh, New York City airs. We can live here, which is good. Bees coming to New York City, Second Avenue, Seventy Fourth Street. <laughs> People don't understand that. Oh, just be. Oh, bees coming. You better think it. Bees there. Bees live with only fresh air area. Otherwise, bees cannot live in that area. So, New York City is good. They have still bees over here. The Central Park have some bees or not. Which is New York City's good air. Better than uh, another city. I don't know the Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's like a, I don't think I can teach you all these uh, 33 different kind of water functions. Maybe I can teach you a little bit. But I have no time to translate the English this one. Because I'm so busy to type myself into Korean. And, but I can tell you, uh, all these meetings, you know. So when we when we making this uh, herbal medicine, and we do have different kind of words, but these days we use only one word, tap water. But New York tap water, good water. The New York tap water better than the plastic bottle water. I retested myself many times. If 
you good acupuncture and automation doctor, you have to check up you know, working with that water first. One good example. Microwave ovens over here. Gas cookers over here. And plastic water over here. If you're making boiling water, microwave oven, boiling water and the gas cooker. The boiling water for the plastic water. Like you cool off. Give that to plants. Two months. Which water the plant like it? Microwave water cure all the plants. The plastic water cure half of the plants. The tap water cooking it, just the cooking at the the fire cook, the, the regular gas cooker, that will stay alive. Tap water is best. Much better than the plastic water. But especially microwave oven, you gotta watch out for that one. It will change your gene in there. Whatever you're cooking over there, it's gonna be change some genes over there. So you drink or you're eating that food after you warm it up from the, uh, the microwave ovens, that makes you inside of your body change your gene. That means like about you can change some uh, cells and Sickness and whatever, I don't know exactly what is it, but it's bad. When we're breathing, again, go back to breathing. We're breathing what?
something like beautiful trees and beautiful plants. What the people does do naturally? Come close, take a look. And beautiful. You put your nose over there and smells. Eh, hey, smells no good this one. <laughs> <laughs> or when it smells, when you smell over there, you take in that oxygen, iron, energy to your body from there. But if you live in the city, you have no chance to take in those kind of energy from that. It's not energy only from like your food or vitamins. We have to get a natural energy from there. There's a, I mean, there's so many different kind of plants and trees. I can't even name it everything. That's so why I don't know what kind of energy you can get. So that you can get energy way more than what you're thinking from the mountain. And also, how many steps you walk in the city a day. Are you walk like about 1,000 steps a day? Anybody walk 1,000 steps a day? More, yeah. You're bullshit, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> we need to walk 10,000 steps a day. You know how many miles for the 10,000 steps? Did you ever think about that? Look at this. Four and a half miles to five and a half miles, so I have to like five miles. So when I play golf, I walk. The golf course between four miles to six miles. Small course like a four. <coughs> Medium is a five, and big large one is a six and over. Like a black black uh, black course in that page. That's gonna be like about I believe that's gonna be about seven to eight miles. Up and down mountain roads, very hard. Very tough. So golf course, I walk. And golf course is not in New York City I'm going to. Golf course in the Long Island or up the mountain. So meaning is like a <clears throat> I go to mountain. I used to go to like a five days a week. <clears throat> and right now like I two to three days a week. Make you feel. Compare with my age group, <clears throat> 47 years old. I'm very stronger than them. Very healthy of power. My age people to a golf course, they can even walk like me. But halfway the walk is I cannot go anymore. They all, they they like a riding cart. <clears throat> so <clears throat> why we do a uh, walk? Regular animals, they crawl with the four legs. These animals, you're not crawling, you walk with the two legs. <clears throat> we have a C fiber. That four legs of the animals, how many C type, C type they they have? <clears throat> One. We do have a start with one with the newborn baby, but we're going to change it to like a three. So if you're not walking, your neck, your top, your low back, they messed up. <clears throat> the regular doctor said, like, uh, don't carry heavy things on you one side and you do this and do that. Oh, Porsche, you're not walk. If you walk a lot, at least 10,000 steps a day, you don't have that kind of problem. I forgot exactly how many numbers. When human being, newborn baby, have like about, they're about, I forgot the numbers, somewhere over there. <clears throat> about 3,000 something like a little joint. But when we're growing, that's reduced to like a 2,000 some bones. When you get up in the morning, your toe is like a 0.8 centimeter taller than regular in the evening, afternoon. Because that all day long you walk or walk, your body will to shrink. When you sleep, it's getting stretched again. So only in the morning, you're taller than in the afternoon. So the babies, human beings, we grow while you sleep. 
faster than volume of movement. So why I'm trying to tell you this? You have to walk. When you walk, <clears throat> all those bones and your joint is working. When you not walk, your body get shrink and and stiff. So we the oldest born need what? Vitamin D. Doctor tell you take a vitamin D. The vitamin D you take it, it bothers your stomach too. It's one thing good, other things bad. <clears throat> but when you walk with this kind of nice sun, the sun gives to you natural vitamin D over 10,000 IU or whatever things. You walk 10,000 steps outside with this kind of nice sun, you don't need no vitamin D in taken. You don't have to worry about all this joint problem also. How you walk? How you walk? Huh? We can sit down here like an hour right now. Everybody get up, have to go. Let's walk. We have to walk from here to there and come back. I want to see everybody walk. Go so walk. Walk. Very slow, you guys, nice, quiet walk from here to there and come back. It only make you feel different than when you sit down over there. When you sit down and listen to me, make you fall down, sleep, and all parts like ache, whatever. You walk a little bit, already make you feel better, right? Yes, sir. But, <clears throat> you guys don't know how to walk. <laughs> Somebody walk like a fashion model. <laughs> Somebody's walk like a stiff body, like a trauma soldier. <laughs> walk is very simple but very hard. And you walk top on the mattress and straight. If you walk on the street outside, that's different. When you walk in the mountain, it's completely different. Whatever circumstance, situation, when you walk in the mountain, up and down, or tear, whatever. If people walk that kind of uh, unbalanced area <clears throat> automatically, you do tension your body, tight your body. Don't do that. Why are you doing martial art? When you're doing martial art, when you're punching, when you're kicking, I keep on telling you, relax your shoulder. Did I tell you that? Yes, sir. So to relax your hip joint also, loose your body. When you walk, walk is a basic technique as martial art. So, how you walk? Hold your body, relax. And your steps, big steps as you can. And make sure when you walk, your back heels touching first. A lot of people touch and try to walk like this. Especially women have a high heel. They cannot land in back side. They have to land it this way. <laughs> and later on, they complain about, oh, my low back's pain, my hip joint's pain, and this bone's growing over here. A lot of women don't do like a surgery for this bone these days because they wear like a <clears throat> very tight shoes with the high heel. <clears throat> the wear is your weight on it, your weight on to the front. And the shoes tight, they squeeze your feet. You cannot breathe over there. I told you, hold your body, have to be breathing. They cannot breathe over there. You have to wear <coughs> soft and easy shoes 
and relax your body. Make sure your back is touching the floor. And steps, stay with the steps. Look at this. Between this and between that. Looks different, right? Now, shoulder. Low back. Very important. Stand straight. Do not walk like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do people walk like that? You're laughing right now, but yeah, when you're watching TV, I watch it that one. They do like a uh, news on the New York City, somebody like that, this big. Yeah. They're walking like this. When they big and walking like this, they lose balance of the the the, the, the here and I mean uh, the knee and the ankle. If you walk like that all the time. This one out, you lose balance. Don't matter how you big or how you skinny, and try to walk. Stand straight. You lose your body. This way. Don't walk that way. One, two, three, four, five. Did you see it? Walk to that way. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your chin down. Don't lift to your chin. A lot of people walk like that too. See, this is stand straight. Bring you down low, you're up. <coughs> Stop pushing. Stand straight. Stand to your, your shoulder. Relax your body. One, two, three, four, five. That's the perfect walking. And walk with a little faster, much as you can. So if you walk over there, you're always walking like this. This is a real good exercise. If you walk like this, 10,000 steps a day. <clears throat> you don't need no vitamin, you don't need no medicine. Let's try to walk like a uh, copy me. <laughs> that way. Big steps. Big steps. Relax your body. Don't put your stomach out. Put your stomach in. Make sure that back is touch and draw. And breathe. And breathe. Uh, looks better. Everybody uniforms. Like they look like the same way they walk. <laughs> before, everybody different way to walk. Did you take a picture before? And later, which is, we can see that film later. No, before and after, how you walk, big different. So, one more time walk. <laughs> Bring your chin down. And your eye have to look in front. Watch your better one. And bring it back. Come back here. Say it, so don't look like a robot. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say it. You look Walk like a regular people. <laughs> it's not regular. So how you feel? You feel yeah. different before, right? Yes, yes. Feel much better, right? Yes. That's the how you walk. But when you go to a mountain, I can teach you a different way to walk at the mountain. This one, you're walking on the, on the New York City, on the street. But at the mountain, you have a different way to walk. Different way to balance your body. But we're not in the mountain. <clears throat> Another one is a very little things. When you walk on the this side of the street and that side of the street, every street in Manhattan, the concrete, that's a tear like this because the water has to go through. So if you walk to this way 5,000 steps, you better walk the other way because it makes it equal. So without you, know, walk like this because the, the street will have to turn around. So you have to turn around and walk back. So that way, walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just in New York City. The little thing you don't understand, I just wake you up, let you know. When I tell you something, when I mention to you something, you understand. 
But before I mention to you, you don't understand. It's a very little thing. So grandma's choice is not that different. I'm the same human being as you. But only things are watching a little carefully more than what you're watching and what you're thinking. Martial art too. When you're kicking, you just kick him like this. Your, your sabobni show you, teaching you good techniques, I'm telling you. But you guys never attention about what he's showing you, what he's teaching you. So he probably teaching you up and kick, but this guy's not up and kick, this guy's... That's why I like it. I was talking to him. Those guys are horrible. You know what he said? You can't tell them horrible. I can because I teach them. I said, so, so I'm teaching you, you teaching them, it's the same thing, but I can tell them. So we had a little funny and argue with each other together. So these things are like a little things. We teaching you good, but people never concentrate and listen to us good. That's why you had a wrong techniques. That's why I like a lifetime and the martial arts, the same thing.